Are you an MSP that has seen an influx of new and cheap competitors in your marketplace that are driving down fees and making it a lot more difficult to command the rates that you want? If so, you're not alone. And I've got some data here that is going to blow your mind. Um, but first, my name is Robin Robbins. I'm founder of TMT. And for the last 22 years, I've worked with over 10,000 MSPs, VARs, break, fix, IT service shops to help them implement more strategic sales and marketing systems. We've spent over two decades researching, refining, and perfecting marketing and sales programs specifically to sell outsourced IT services and support. So obviously, one of the things that we pay attention to are new competitors coming in the marketplace. And one of the biggest challenges that MSPs have or any IT service company has is fee resistance. You know, customers, prospects not wanting to pay all that or pay those high rates as they would call them for your services. So here's the data point that I want to share with you that's pretty shocking. According to some research I just got from Datto on the state of the industry and MSPs, the ratio of new MSPs starting up to those that are being acquired or um, are merging is three to one. So for every MSP that is being acquired or uh, bought or merged, you know, going away, making one, we are seeing three brand new startups happen. And um, we're seeing the same thing in our CRM and our list building because we're doing marketing to the industry. And from this year alone, which is the first six months of this year, we have seen 1,473 brand new MSPs enter into the market because they're coming to us looking for sales and marketing help. And I would like to think I have the corner on the market and we've got every brand new MSP in, in, our, in our database, but that's not the case. These are only the ones that are somehow finding us and opting in and requesting some information, which means there is going to be a massive um, amount of other MSPs that are out there that are just starting up. Now, why is that happening? I, I, I'm not for sure. I think part of it is there's a lot of engineers, IT professionals, that are seeing the opportunity that was happening in the last couple of years of the MSP industry. If you look at the, the last couple of years, if you look at, of course, 2020 was kind of cuckoo, but you look at 2021, 22, and even into 23, it has been a heyday for MSPs. I had all the sharks from Shark Tank on my stage, Kevin O'Leary, Damon John, Robert Hershevac, and they all said to the audience, right now you guys are in boom time, and if you can't make it now, you're never going to make it because this is as good as it's going to get. And that was a couple years ago. So obviously, whenever you see that kind of opportunity, you see an increase in competition. So I think a lot of people are starting to see, hey, you know, there's a big opportunity here. I'd rather start my own MSP than work for a larger company. Some of the middle market companies are now outsourcing their IT support entirely. So they're firing their IT person. And that IT person is now saying, hey, let me be your first customer, you you know, and, and they're starting up an MSP. And we're also seeing a trend of these uh, startups being very specialized, a lot in security. So again, the uh, increase in competition is not super surprising because when you see that kind of opportunity crop up, of course, you're going to see a lot of competitors uh, following that. So then what do you need to do? All right. Well, you have to be a lot more strategic about differentiating yourself in the marketplace. I mean, before it, it's always been important to differentiate yourself and be able to articulate why somebody should do business with you versus everybody else. But now when you've got all these cheaper competitors, it makes the job a little more difficult because you know a prospect is sitting there looking at you and looking at somebody else and if you're 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% more expensive, you have to be able to justify those fees. Now, the way to do it is not to just do more marketing or have some slick talk track of how you overcome a price objection. What you want to do is double down on what we call the cat factor, celebrity, authority, and trust, or meow mix, right? So you want to become a mini celebrity in your marketplace. You want to be an authority or seen and perceived as an authority, and you need to use trust-based marketing strategies now more than ever to combat that. So one of the things I put together for you, and I want you to get a copy of, is this MSP election year forecast report. And I just put this together. Um, in this report, I am talking about economic and profitability and growth 
challenges and trends and headwinds that MSPs are facing from an increase in competition, but also we're seeing a drop in lead flow. We're seeing deals taking longer to close. We're seeing um, the economy is just stagnant right now. Um, and there's that plus a whole lot, a lot of other things that are making it more difficult for you to grow and maintain profit margins. And I've outlined it in this report. I have also outlined three critical changes to your go-to-market strategy, to your business strategy that you want to employ right now from, from now until the end of the year, even into next year, that are going to make a big difference for you. Um, so I'm not suggesting that you stop marketing and stop growing. And I'm not suggesting it's all lost and everything is bad and we're all doomed. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is there are trends that are happening that you cannot ignore, and you are going to have to adjust your strategy and your approach to your business. And I've outlined what the trends are. I've outlined what you need to focus on in this free report. So right below this video, you're going to see a link and that link will take you to the report. You can download it. You can read it. You can benefit from it. It's super important that you start understanding what's going on and even more important that you start putting in place the right strategy now so that you can preserve your profit margins, preserve your best customers, develop the customers that you have and, and grow with fewer clients, um, with less spend on marketing and less aggravation. So again, click on that link below, make sure you download this report. You're going to be very glad you did.